What's our course today, Captain? It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Addy. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of pecking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum. It's to the water sea gates. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Of Sally and Polly, for the flash men do wait. Hurrah, me boys, we're over now. And one to the other, we'll hear them say. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Oh, here he comes, Johnny, with forty months pay. Hurrah, me boys, we're over now. Thy gals in will ring the old bell. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Yay! And with them duties, we'll raise Mary Ell. Hurrah, we boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to the gals of the town. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. And step me your bullies and even all round. Hurrah, we boys, we're homeward bound. And when we get home, boys, oh, won't we fly round? Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. We'll leave up the anchor to this bully sound. <laughs> Hurrah, ye boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound for the old backyard. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Then he be poorly. Trinidad to see Sally Brown. I think we've lost them, sir. This is me. 
I'll ride him again, and we say so, and we know so. But I'll ride him until the Lord knows when. Oh, poor old man. He's dead as a nail in the lamp room door, and we say so, and we know so. And he won't come for in us no more. Oh, poor old man. We'll use the hair of his tail to sew our sail, and we say so, and we know so. And the iron of his shoes to make deck nails. Oh, poor old man. Drop him down oh, on the long, long pole, and we say so, and we know so. For the sharks will have his body, and the devil will take his soul. Oh, poor old man. Burn that down, Bristol Lloyd.
Mentor bids us be ready for anything. The Templars men know our whereabouts now. The Walpole. Isn't that right? The Englishman. Ah. He played us from the start. Betrayed our confidence. How could we have known? Even after Bai was taken in by his child. I saw a ship pass this way, close upon the shore, then gone. Artabai warned us to be vigilant. The Templars have been closing in for well on a year. Indeed. The Templars make noise with their comings and goings. I've not heard a thing just yet. You will.
Jesus, Kate. You left... We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Fenway? What is the assassin, Dunker Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. Parrot the words, but you do not understand. Don't get haughty. Ah! The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. There should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Mm. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. Damn it. Easy, Kenway. It ain't like climbing ratlins. <sighs> Them Templars have been chasing them. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. They have the upper window. The door's mechanism seems to be broke. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Enough to curse you with, kid!
must be a great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you could take the shock of it. I can handle myself. This it then. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they called the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. With pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well. But not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? There's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. Hammer up those stones, can we? Have an idea. these stones here. Seems like they might move.
him the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, I. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mento. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention and take fewer lives. Darts on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see?
losing him! He's in his sights. Many thanks, but no forgiveness. They can perish if this ever happens again.
death and disease to these sleepers. Eh? Kindness, you do this? Forgive.
Many thanks, brother. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like the Cass's dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Hi. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. <laughs> 